<coughs> Hello, in this video we will see the clamper circuit in details. In last lectures we will see construction of the construction of the diodes, what are the application of diode. Now the main application of the diode is the clamper. So diode can be clamped to input AC signals. So first we'll see what is a clamper circuit. Clamper is the circuit that adds DC level to the AC waveform without changing its shape. So the very important concept of this clamper is that it will add DC level to the AC waveform without changing its shape. Or it is also called as it is used to clamp the input signals. Most of the application the electronics components works on the DC supply but when you amplify the signals so that DC contents may be removed so to add a particular DC levels we are using clamper circuit so very important to add the DC level to the AC waveform but there is no any change in the shape of the waveforms so the circuit which can be used to clamp the input signal is called as the clamper circuit now we will see classification of the clampers. Clampers are generally classified into negative clamper, positive clamper. The negative clamper in this the waveform will be shift in the downward direction means means towards the negative cycle and positive clamper the waveform will be shift in the upward direction that means it is in the positive cycle. So I hope that you understood what is a clamper circuit. These are the two different two main types of the clamper circuit. Uh, clipper circuit we have the different types means number of types are exist but the clamper we generally specify classify into the two types negative clamper and the positive clamper. And when you apply some external supply that means biasing so we can take negative clamper with the biasing positive clamper with the biasing. Uh, first we will see a negative clamper circuit what is a negative clamper circuit so this is the input waveform so input waveform may be the sinusoidal signals maybe it is maybe it is uh, sinusoidal signals maybe it is sine wave square wave triangular wave and this is the simple circuit diagram for the clamper so in the clamper we have two components play very important role capacitor and diode uh, similarly in the clippers we have resistor and the diode so in clamper capacitor is used capacitor plays very important role to clamp the input wave, input ac signal so this capacitor this is the one diode input input is any sinusoidal signal that may be the uh, sine sine wave triangular wave or we can say square wave so this is the output so very simple working here i am connecting the input capacitor diode and this is the output so V in may be any AC waveform. So now we will see detail working of this negative clamper circuit. Uh, when we are explaining the working of clamper circuit, it is very important to note the diode is in which diode is in forward bias in during the which cycles. So first to explain the working of any clamper circuit, first you have to identify the cycle that is positive or negative during which the diode is in forward bias. Now we know the concept of this diode circuit to become forward bias and the reverse bias that already I have explained in previous my video lectures you can refer this. So to this is the symbol for the diode. We have this is the anode and this is the cathode. When anode is positive with respect to cathode so we can say diode is in forward bias. So we can say and this anode if it is in negative with respect to cathode so we can say this is in the reverse bias so this is a simple working of the diode that i already explained so you may refer this so during positive cycles just see this is the circuit diagram of the di clamper circuit negative clamper circuit so during positive cycle means this anode should be positive with respect to negative so this uh, will happen when cycle will be the positive so this is positive negative during positive cycle this diode is in forward bias means the circuit will look like this so there is a connection between this terminal and this terminal so we are getting this diode is in forward bias as the diode get forward bias 
the capacitor will start to charge there as capacitor is charging yes obviously the capacitor is charging but it is very important to note up to what extent this capacitor is charged so first when you are explaining the working of any clamper circuit first you should know your diode the forward bias condition during the which cycle the diode is in forward bias and the next stage is important that what extent of output voltage will be appear or what extent of a capacitor will get charged to that voltage so you have to identify what is the voltage of the capacitor charge so now as it is a negative cycle when i apply this uh, input during the positive cycle this become positive this become negative so diode is become forward bias positive negative so circuit will look like so there is a connection between this terminal and this terminal so capacitor is getting charged now i will simply apply the kvl that is kirchhoff's voltage law uh, you may refer my previous lectures for the kvl and the kcl so you will your, your doubt, doubt will get clarified what is kvl and the kcl so as it is negative positive so connect all this or uh, show there the polarity positive negative when i am moving like this positive negative means this is minus v in as it is plus minus so again it is plus vm voltage up across this let it be the vm so vm minus it is plus minus so this is v0 because this is the polarity of this output voltage it is plus minus so it is minus v0 so when i apply this kvl minus v in plus vm and this is minus v0 but as there is a connection between this terminal and this terminal so what output is appearing across this because it is a positive negative so they will get short and output is here zero so in this case v0 is zero now as v0 is zero if i will i will put there this value v0 as zero in this equation so i am getting vm is equal to v in means what this capacitor is charged up to the value of v in so i am getting the voltage across the capacitor charge capacitor vm is equal to v in and v0 is equal to zero means during the positive cycle the capacitor is charged to the extent v in and the voltage across the across this output it is zero volt now what happened during the negative cycle during the negative cycle again this is negative positive now remember here important concept once capacitor is charged with the polarity polarity remains same and polarity will never get again exchange or reverse so as it is capacitor is charged in the positive cycle plus minus so the polarity will remain same plus minus as it is negative cycle negative plus now negative positive means this diode is in reverse bias so as in reverse bias so there is no connection between this terminal and the, this terminal so now i am applying the kvl here yes you can go through this plus minus so that is v in v in plus minus plus vm voltage up voltage across this it is a vm so vm and plus minus it is plus v0 so simply i apply their kvl so i am getting the equation v in plus vm plus v0 is equal to 0 so i want the what output should be there across this so v0 is equal to minus v in plus vm but what is the value of vm capacitor is charged to the value v in so vm is equal to v in v0 is equal to minus v in vm is equal to v in so v0 is equal to minus 2 v in so very important to note here so i have the one cycle positive cycle negative cycle so during the positive cycles what output is appearing across this v0 is equal to 0 because it is already short there so v0 is equal to 0 and during negative cycle v0 is equal to minus 2 v in so i am I am getting the two output voltage during the positive and the negative cycle. Now I will draw the waveform of this. So this is the negative clamper. So during this is the summarized table. This is the summarized table. 
So I will draw the input and output waveform. What input waveform and what output waveform will appear there? So during the positive cycle, when V in is greater than zero, what is output? V zero is equal to zero. So this is the input. So V zero is equal to zero. During negative cycle, V zero is equal to minus two V. So this is the negative cycle. This is minus V in. So obviously this voltage will be here minus two V in. So if I will draw the voltage, so during negative half cycle, voltage will appear like this. So this waveform will be there for the V0 and this waveform is for the V in. So means in this case you can see the cycle will be shifted in the downward direction. So we can say it is a negative clamper. So this is 2V in. It start from zero, so V in and it is minus V in. So this is the input voltage zero form, and this one is the output voltage zero form. So this is the all about the negative clamper. Now you can see this uh, negative clamper with the biasing means when you connect their external biasing supply. So the what output should be there, or what will be the changes at the output? So during negative clamper, so we will explain this negative clamper with the biasing. So I have taken one capacitor diode and I applied their polarity negative positive one V1 polarity. So we will see working again very important to note here first the diode should be in the forward bias during which cycle the diode should be in the forward bias and what at what voltage the capacitor will be charged when the diode is in forward bias. So as this is the diode it is anode cathode so I have to connect this positive so positive negative means during positive cycle the diode will become the forward bias so during positive cycle v in greater than zero diode is in forward bias so negative positive positive negative capacitor is getting charged this is diode v1 this is negative positive now simply i will apply their kvl so i will move like this so if i apply kvl minus plus it becomes minus v in plus plus minus plus vm minus plus so it is sorry minus plus it is minus v in plus minus vm and this plus minus it is plus v0 that is equal to 0 so i want to find what is the voltage of this capacitor so vm is equal to minus v0 plus v in but as this diode is in forward bias, diode is in forward bias, so the there is a connection between this and this, and the supply is there, minus negative supply minus plus, so same voltage is appearing across the output. So V0 is equal to minus V1. So Vm is equal to if I will put this value of V1, V in plus V1. So Vm is equal to V in plus V V1. So voltage appearing across the capacitor is what? V in plus V1. So capacitor is charged to the voltage V in plus V1. Now so during negative cycle, so this is all about the positive cycle. So during the negative cycle v in less than 0 now diode become this in reverse bias as the diode is in reverse bias positive negative already i know uh, i explained this once capacitor is charged polarity will not get a reverse so polarity remains same so positive negative this negative positive this output voltage so as the diode is in reverse bias so there is no connection between these two terminals so the battery will not play the role that the battery will not play the role of output voltage so i will apply the kvl simply plus minus so it is v in plus minus plus vm and this plus and it is minus so it is plus v0 is equal to 0 so v0 is equal to minus v in plus vm but what is the value of vm capacitor is charged to the voltage v in plus v1 means this capacitor is charged to the voltage v in plus v1 so Vm is equal to V in plus V1. So 1 plus 1 that is 2V in plus V1. 
so v0 is equal to minus 2v in plus v1 now i will draw the output here from of this cycle <coughs> this is the v in let it is a v in it is minus v in and let this v1 and it is negative voltage so i will draw this as a v1 voltage 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 of the battery so during positive cycle so during positive cycle what is the value of v0 it is minus v1 so as it is a positive cycle so this voltage will be appear i plug this and during negative cycle what is the value of this 2v in uh, v0 v0 it is 2v in plus v1 means this v1 and and this voltage is 2v in plus v1 so this waveform will appear across this output side and this is your input waveform so in this case also the cycle is shifting in the downward direction so this is called as a negative clamper this is clamper is called as a negative clamper and if you connected here biasing means you connected there one battery so it is called as negative clamper with the biasing similarly you can take here positive biasing means positive polarity negative polarity you can explain the working of negative clamper with the positive biasing so i hope that you understood clamper types of the clamper and negative clamper in the details in next video we will see what is a positive clamper positive clamper with the biasing positive and the negative polarity so thank you friends if you like this video you can subscribe you can share the video again thank you